Stop what you're doing. What are you doing? We are now in the year 2022 and everything in the world is somehow related to blockchain in at least 6 degrees of separation. If you want to get into cryptocurrencies these days, I don't know what to tell you. It is really difficult to get into one right now as we are facing a bear run. But with the right project such as the one we are going to tell you today, things may just work out for you in the long run. Sit down and take some notes, pal. Hi everyone to another cool and awesome video from the equally cool and awesome channel of Crypto Cash Out, the channel that is dedicated to making videos about blockchain games and cryptocurrencies. Before we head on any further to the topic at hand, please remember that we are not financial advisors. We never claim to be experts of cryptocurrencies so please do not take what we say in this video as financial advice. We highly encourage you to do additional research after watching this video. You can trust me when I say that it will be for the best if you do so. Before we head on any further, this will be the first time that we are going to talk about Frozen Walrus, so it is important that we will define what it is before heading on to understand how it works as a project. It is a DeFi protocol based on Avalanche Network, which is why it is called Frozen Walrus. When supplying liquidity to the network through a reward token, the project and platform offer substantial yields. As it can be confusing for first-time users, please read our guide to acquire a complete understanding of the mechanics underlying Frozen Walrus. The platform has a system that makes profit that is made by them issuing a currency by issuing it as the difference between the face value of their token that we will talk about later and the product cost. Frozen Walrus was created with community support and sustainable yields to last. That is why many people are coming to it as an easy means of earning passive income. They do this with the help of the mechanics of GameFi and TradeFi. We are extending our ecosystem into areas where users can spend our tokens to provide them consistent value. It is a peg stable coin which means that the goal of their main token is to stay around the $1 mark. This will be their their main goal but there will still be changes as there is not as much backing the token causing it to fluctuate in value. But with that, you can still earn amazing yields in return on investments per day. This is done in order to closely monitor the inflation and or deflation rate of the token. The protocol will seek to inflate the supply of walrus over $1 and attempt to deflate it under $1 so that we are always moving closer to maintaining the price of walrus at $1 in the market. Now that we have said basic introductions about the project, it is now time for the reason why you guys are watching this video. How are you going to earn thousands thanks to Frozen Walrus? Now please bear in mind that in order to participate in passive income, you must invest a hefty amount in order to start earning here. There's a good return on your investment but you will have to put in quite a lot if you really want to earn in the thousands. The first and probably safest method of earning passively in this game is through the farms. So, farms are there to increase liquidity and reap their benefits. It is simple to add liquidity to the frozen walrus, which can be utilized to cultivate new share tokens. It's just basic liquidity per staking on the farms. You may truly cultivate two assets when you couple them together for incredible profits. So, how are you going to start earning off the farms? The first thing you must have is taking advantage of the walrus to usdc.e farm. Walrus or WLRS token is designed for the frozen walrus ecosystem to be used as a medium of exchange. This is the token pack that is aimed to be maintained at the ratio of 1 to 1 with the USDC.E. This is a great way of earning passive income because it has a yielding rate of 1.04% per day of what you have invested in. This means that of the invested money you take in, you will earn 1.04% of the money each day as a result. The best part is that you can take the money anytime you want if you don't want to keep on going. You can always pull out the capital if you think that the token is performing really bad. Personally, I think that if the token is well below the peg price of $1, that is the best time to buy in order to really maximize your earnings in Frozen Walrus. But despite all of that, 
people have claimed to be on the positive side despite buying the token when it was over the peg price. But that is what people suggest for you to start investing when the price of the token is below the peg price. So, let us take a situation of an alternate reality where you have $3,500 to spare. That's a lot of money that is just sitting there. You decide to invest it in walrususdc.e because you want to earn passive income. Every day you will earn $36.4 from that farm alone and wait for a month you will have earned over $1,000 from this farm. How crazy is that? But again that is assuming you invested $3,500 to the farm so be careful okay? Next up to farms we have the boardroom. What is the boardroom? You could compare the boardroom to a locked single staking. As a share supplier, you are securing the supply of the governance token W share dollars for a portion of each growth epoch. The money you invest in the boardroom can be withdrawn every 24 hours. Let us say you invest $3,000 now. You will have to wait a day at least in order to withdraw that amount. After that, you will have to wait another 24 hours in order to withdraw money from that stake. Let's get more into the Boardroom. Let us take $3,000 that you invested in the boardroom. Again, this is a single stay for Walter Share or W Share, which is the other token of Frozen Walters. One approach to gauge the worth of the Frozen Walters protocol and shareholder confidence in its capacity to keep WLRS near to peg is through Walrus shares. But because it is still a way of passive income, you can still earn yield from it from the shares. The boardroom is offering a 1.65 daily return from it. So again, from the $3,000 you invested in it, you will earn $49.5 a day from investing that much money. And again, you you can withdraw that every day or so which means you do not have to worry that much. In addition to that, if you wait a month or 28 days, that money will amount to $1,386. That is a lot of money in one month from the investment you have made. Another thing that we can look at is bonds. The bonds are basically there for you when the Walrus token is below the peg price. When you purchase Walrus when it is below peg, you can redeem bonds later on when it has risen in price. The longer you wait to redeem the tokens when it is above the peg price, the better your rewards will be. It is much more desirable when you take the tokens back at the high price. Lastly, we have nodes which are locked investments. The Frozen Walters protocol uses different nodes that you might be used to seeing in other protocols. In essence, it is the lock staking of the asset that gradually returns to you until you reach a 500% return on investment. However, it is quite similar to the farms. The only downside of using nodes in Frozen Walrus is that you cannot withdraw your initial investment and it will be locked there forever. That is why people are suggesting that you will invest only a little amount here in nodes because of how you cannot withdraw the money here. It is very risky that is why you really need to be mindful and do research. With nodes, there are a couple of nodes you can put your money in. You can invest in some but not all in the Walrus to US dc.e node. This node gives you a daily yield of 1.58%. Let's say that you will invest $1,000 in this node. Again, you can go lower if you want because you don't want to risk it. You will earn a daily amount of $15.8 for that amount of money. In 28 days, that cash will amount to a total of $442.4, which may not seem a lot when you compare it to the farms or boardroom, but remember that you are not investing a lot in here. But you can always go for more if you want, but again, please be mindful of your money. There exists another node that you can invest in. It is the WShare to USDC.e node. This node offers a bit more compared to the others. It has a daily yield return of 1.88%, which is a lot actually. Let us say that you want to invest $1,500 in this farm. Each day, you will earn $28.20. That is a lot I am telling you. Every month, you will earn approximately $800 for that amount of money. That is really great. The last node form that we would like to talk about is a 
farm that is related to grape finance that has worked with frozen walrus. This is the grape, the currency in grape finance, the walrus token. This farm offers a daily return yield of 1.31%. You must be more attentive to this farm because two crypto projects will be in play here. But again, there are still possibilities to earn daily here and you know the drill, so I'm leaving computations to you. There's another form that I would like to talk about. This one is not a node but it is still worth keeping in mind. It is the W share to USDC.e form. This form offers a 1.45% daily yield which is still a lot. Many people are saying you should go for this one. Let's say that you have $3,500 to spare. Each day you will earn over $50 for this farm. In a month, you can earn almost $1,500 with this farm. Crazy to think about. But again, you really need to be mindful when investing in this project. This is assuming that you have a lot of money to spare. If you do, then this project might be for you. But again, always invest money when you can afford to lose it. We don't want you to lose all your money. Hey there, thanks for watching this video. It really means a lot to us. If you haven't already, please do leave a like on the video and subscribe to our channel to help us make more videos like this. And would you be so kind to leave a comment down below if you think Frozen Walrus is all worth it for a chance at a shoutout giveaway. Also, we have a video that talks about 5 blockchain games you can consider playing so if you have the time, you can also check that out if you like. Thanks for watching. Until next time and have fun cashing out.